going on guys? My name is Shane and I figured today I was in a filming mood this morning and I really didn't know what the heck to film. I have some ideas but today I figured it would be a perfect opportunity to show you guys kind of an updated everyday makeup look because I have been using this look all throughout the summer and because my daughter is going back to school, I needed something kind of foolproof that I know would look good, that doesn't take too much time, and that I knew kind of how to do well. So I figured I would kill two birds with one stone today, show you an easy, I guess, mommy makeup tutorial um, as well as just my everyday makeup look. So let's just get right into it. I honestly use a combination of drugstore and high-end makeup. I've been kind of leaning back to drugstore just because the price point is there. You can find some really good products at the drugstore. So for primer today, I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Do I think this is the best primer in the world? No. It does blur my pores and I feel like just gives me a better canvas for my foundation to sit on. A little goes a long way with this product as well, so all you really need is one pump. And I'm just going to apply it all over my face, kind of concentrating in the problem areas, which tends to be right here with pores. I have fine lines on my forehead because I'll be 30 in a couple years, <laughs> and you know, natural aging. It smells like a cosmetic, but it's like kind of nice. <laughs> now for foundation, honestly, the color is not going to be the exact color that I tell you. Ooh, we are dirty. This is technically number 322 Warm Honey in Maybelline's Matte and Pore List, but because I had been tanning, I had to kind of do some mixing to get a better color, so I was also mixing in 128 Warm Nude in Dewy and Smooth. So you're going to notice my foundation is not necessarily matte, but that's because it's a dewy foundation mixed in but it's already all mixed into this one tube so all I'm gonna do is take a little bit on whoops <laughs> I said a little bit and you're gonna notice it's gonna look a little bit dark on my face but once I blend it down to my neck it all matches so I try to match my neck not necessarily what the color of my face is because I also wash my face every day my tan tends to fade on my face a little bit faster than my body would. And then I'm just going to buff this in with a damp beauty blender. Also, I know people are probably gonna have opinions on these earrings. <laughs> I love big hoops. I know they're not everybody's cup of tea, but I love them, so that's why I wear them. I know some people think they're like too much or even controversial now, which is like kind of crazy to me, but... <laughs> They're earrings and I love them and they do match my outfit today, so I'm gonna wear them. And then like I mentioned, I wanna make sure that I blend it down to my neck to make everything match seamlessly. So you'll notice my face seems to have a little bit of shine to it. That's why I love the dewy foundation from Maybelline. But as we approach winter and get closer to the colder seasons, you'll probably start to see me wear more um, matte foundations again. I do my cream contour next before I do my concealer because I like to powder my concealer pretty much right after I conceal. So I'm gonna go in with my cream contour and I've been using this forever. This is the LA Pro Girl Color in Toast. A little goes a long way with this product, <laughs> trust me. So I just squeeze a little bit out onto the applicator and then I'm just going to make little dots down where I want my contour. So I put it on my cheekbones, a little bit on my forehead. I don't really have that big of a forehead, so I don't really need to contour that crazy, but I also bring it down to my jawline. I don't tend to contour my nose. I have never quite mastered that, but with this cream contour, you wanna work fairly quickly. So first I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques buffing brush. And first I'm just gonna kind of stipple the product. Because it is a cream, it is gonna blend better with a beauty sponge, but just, ooh, why are you going all the way down there? <laughs> just to kind of start getting the product blended and dispersed before it dries, I like to use this brush first, but try not to have it go all the way down there. I don't know what the heck I was doing. I was not paying attention. And then our beauty sponge. <laughs> Okay, our beauty sponge. <laughs> Once my earring is back in, now we can move on to our um, 
concealing. <laughs> so for concealer, I'm still using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I think this is one of the best concealers from the drugstore that I've used. So after applying it underneath my eyes and on the T-zone and the chin, I also go in with a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape because this color um, is in medium and you can tell it's not super lightening, but I'm going to take my Tarte which is in light I'm just going to add just a touch of this. I don't want too much product, especially underneath my eyes because I don't want caking. But just to add a little bit of lightness to my... Why can't I never remember? <laughs> um, to my concealing, I add a little bit of that and then I go in with a beauty blender. And this tip actually came from Jackie Ina, but she said to blend out the um, concealer underneath your eye like not up against your eye first and then work your way up to get the most coverage and then when you're tapping underneath your eye tap very very lightly as not to pull any product off of your skin i actually just like to take it onto my eyelid as well because i don't tend to use an eyeshadow base i feel like that's just an extra step an extra product i feel like concealer will work just fine and then just continue to blend out the rest of the product I'm just gonna set my face in place using the airspun translucent powder, but I was also using um Oh my foot is so itchy. Sorry. I have eczema as you may know from my pregnancy diaries and it's like spreading to my ankles and it's the worst thing I put hydrocortisone cream on but it's not kicking in that fast anyways I tried this Kat Von D setting powder that I got from like a birthday thing from Sephora, but the compact is so stinking small that I can't even get enough powder out to see if like I actually really like it. I do allow the powder to sit on my face for a few minutes and I go ahead and fill in my brows at this point. I do still use the Anastasia Brow Pomade as you can see. It's getting quite empty and when it gets to this point, it actually gets quite dry. So what I tend to do, because I don't like to waste product, like there's still a lot of product in here. So I take my angled brush, and this one I believe is from It Cosmetics. It is number 217, the angle, angled aligner and brow brush. I tend to take a little bit of product from the pot on my brush, and then I put it into the cap. And then I have this little Tarte um, Maracuja, Maracuja oil. <laughs> I have no no idea how to pronounce it, but you literally need the smallest amount. I mean like not even a drop um, And I just kind of like dab I don't even like push this down I just dab whatever is sort of falling out of the dropper into this container and that helps to really loosen up the product so I'll use my brush to kind of swirl it around and now I'm able to use it and it's not so dry. Then I just scrape off the excess on this side. Just align them and fill in this area with the pomade um, using that brush. And then I have this really cool product that I used to use. It just wasn't the right color for me. But it is from, I think it's from like a Korean brand. It's called Music Flower Eyebrow Pen and it has like three tiny little prongs on the end like three tiny little brushes and I take this and I'll also dip it into the product and use it to kind of fill in the front of my brows so I'm gonna do that and then I'll be right back I'm just finishing up my brows here I'm just kind of brushing the product out a little bit now I'm going to take a brush and just brush away the excess powder on my face and then I'm just going to set my brows using an e.l.f. brow gel. It's brown because <laughs> it was clear, but because I use this pomade, it kind of picks up that brown pigment. But I'm just going to use this to set my brows, and I set my brows after I wipe away the powder so that the powder doesn't stick to the gel. Okay, once that is set, now we can move on to the eye. So first thing is first. This is something I have been doing for years. I am going to take this little brush that I got from... I think the craft store forever ago. It's a little teeny tiny brush. And I'm gonna use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I literally cannot find a sharpener for this thing. That's the only reason I use a brush. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go in and line my waterline. 
And then I also like taking it a little bit on my inner corner so it gives my eyeshadow something to stick on because as of recently, I haven't been using a ton of eyeshadow as you're about to see. I, I keep it quite natural, but I do like my inner corners to be super bright. So putting that cream down first helps the eyeshadow stick. And I'm not really blending it out at the moment. We'll do that in a minute. Oh shoot, spilt my oil. My my go-to palette has been the Christian, Christian Dominique Latte palette. I love this palette. I don't love that it's white, <laughs> but I do love this palette. And you're gonna see, oh my lord, it is dirty, 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 but my favorite color ever is the caramel color. So I'm gonna go in with just any sort of fluffy crease brush that you have. I happen to have one of the Anastasia brushes that's come from their palettes. Um, so I'm gonna use that. I find it a little bit softer than the Morphe one that I was using. So I'm just taking that caramel color and I'm literally just going to sweep it back and forth in my crease. I'm just going to use like little circular motions, windshield wiper motions, just get it in there and get it nice and blended. And what's beautiful about the product is that it is very natural, but it's buildable. So if you don't want a lot of color, you can put very little and you're gonna get a very light shadow. You can add on to it and build it up into a darker shadow. But I really, I love this color. I've loved this color since I got my hands on this palette. I also want to try her Berries and Cream palette, which I know is like an older palette now because now I think she has like the Rustic Glam, the blue one. But I was really, really, really impressed with this first palette. So I'm definitely interested in her other ones. Then we're gonna take this little flat shader brush. Any flat shader brush will do. This one happened to come from the Mermaid Lagoon palette from Besame. But I'm gonna take this kind of off white, it's like a little bit of a yellow shade called Vanilla Cream. <laughs> oh, a vanilla shade would have been a perfect description. <laughs> but I'm gonna take a little bit of that on my flat shader and I'm just going to pack this all over the lid. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Great job, Bubby. Yeah, that was a lot of work. Yeah, I'm sure it looks like a lot of work, honey. You did a great job. So as I'm finishing up here, I'm going to kind of lightly blend it into the crease too. So there's no weird line between the two colors that we've applied. It just all kind of blends together. Next, I'm gonna go into my Disney Designer palette from ColourPop. I did a giveaway. I said this was one of my favorite palettes to use. I especially love Prince Charming, which is slowly deteriorating. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna take my Morphe, hello, my Morphe 213 brush, which is a tiny little detail brush, perfect for the inner corner. I'm gonna pick up Prince Charming, and you can opt, they also have a color called Ray, um, which is kind of more on the gold side, so you can definitely do that one. I just prefer more of the ivory shade, um, for my inner corner at least, and I'm just going to pack it right over the cream that we applied in my inner corner. And I'm gonna slightly bring it down to my lower lash line as well. Then I'm going back to my Morphe 321 brush, which is kind of a stiff shader brush, like a stiff pencil brush. Going back into Caramel in the Dominique palette, I'm just going to sweep this on my lower lash line. And you can smoke it out as little or as much as you want. And then just to smoke it out even farther, I'm taking my Morphe 507 brush, which is pretty much the brush that we just used. It's just a little bit longer and it's fluffier. And then picking up caramel again, I'm just gonna smoke this bottom shadow out a little bit more. For my eyeliner, I've been using the NYX uh, liquid, vinyl liquid liner for quite some time. Um, I really like the brush that it comes with and the formula isn't bad. I've had better formulas, but um, it does stay on all day. It just starts to fade kind of in the inner corner after like a full day, but it's all good. I was trying to use Kat Von D's liquid liner for a while, but it's like a felt tip and I've never been able to master felt tips like I could use them if I'm doing like Halloween makeup and I'm doing detail work like that but to do my wing liner maybe it's just because I learned how to do it with liquid liner but I cannot do it with a felt tip. <laughs> 
And I used to make the line connecting my inner corner to my wing much thicker, but I think this past year I've really kind of thinned it out. I like it a little bit thinner. My daughter is playing with some toys, so if you hear some background noise, that's all it is. Um, but I just put some lash glue on my lashes and I'm gonna go in with a bit of mascara and I'm using my tried and true telescopic from L'Oreal. The only downfall for this mascara is that it's not waterproof, so be careful, but I'm gonna add some to my top and bottom lashes. No, 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 don't sneeze, don't sneeze, don't sneeze. <sighs> oh God, <laughs> I almost screwed up everything. You wanna give this mascara a minute to dry is what I'm saying. I feel like I'm getting sick. Okay, so for lashes today, I'm actually gonna link them down below. <sighs> For lashes today, I'm gonna link them down below because I don't have the box to show you guys, but it's the Jasmine Brown Curly Queen Lashes. Honestly, I have found these in like Targets and Walgreens. I haven't been able to find them in my local Walmart, so you can either find them online using the link I provided or just walk into your Target. I've always seen them, at mine at least. Then I'm gonna go in and bronze up my face while my lashes dry, and I'm still using the Butter Bronzer. And I always kind of felt like my bronzer was a little too harsh, so I started using my highlighting brush after cleaning it. And I use a different brush for highlighter now, but I like to use this because I feel like it's just a little bit softer. And I'm just going to swirl it right where I added that cream contour in the beginning of our makeup look. Also up against my hairline, and a little bit on my jaw going down to my neck. Honestly, blush, I kind of go back and forth between. Sometimes I'm in the mood to wear it, sometimes I'm not. But if I wear it most of the time, I'll wear Luminoso from Milani. It's just such a pretty peach color. And a little goes a long way with this product as well. You don't need a ton on your brush. Once that is added onto my cheeks, the last thing I'm gonna do for my face is highlight. You'll be noticed I've been holding Amorezzi from Anastasia in my hands. And I'm just gonna use this little angled brush. It's like a super cheap makeup brush I think I got from Forever 21 forever ago, but it has like a little flat angled. But I, I use this and I kinda use the tip of the angle to pick up some product. And then I am just going to use it to lightly begin highlighting. Highlight a little bit of my cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin, and I don't go crazy on highlight with my nose because I didn't contour it, but I do add just a little bit on the tip to give my face still kind of that dewy and wet look. I'll put a little bit here as well. Back into my liquid liner very quickly just to hide the lash band. So once my lashes have pretty much completely dried and the glue is getting clear, I just go over it a little bit just to hide it a little bit better. Whenever I skip that step, I really regret it. <laughs> so it's just one of those little extra steps I feel like brings your makeup level up a notch. And last but not least is lipstick. And honestly, I switch up my lipstick all the time, but I'm gonna show you a couple of my current favorites. I have this little tiny baggie that I got from the baby shower and I keep my favorite like go-to lipsticks in here. So I did show you guys these Maybelline lipsticks not long ago and they're kind of more of like a like they're very, very sheer. So if you want something a little more opaque, you know, spend a little bit more money and get something, you know, with a better payoff. But I think these work really well. I picked up another one, 560 recently, and it's really beautiful. It's just on the darker side. So I'm gonna save this one for fall. And this one is a matte one, where the other ones are more like, um, like a shimmery one but what I, you also can do is I love using this Morphe liquid lipstick so what I've been doing a lot this one is in the color called taunt is I'll apply this one first And then after giving it just a moment to dry, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Color, Color Sensational in Truffle Tease. And I showed this in a vlog as well. But it's super, super pretty. And I'm just going to add a little bit on top of the liquid gloss, just so it's not like so drying. It kind of gives it a little more of a, a wet look. 
Alright guys, and that completes my everyday makeup look. Like I said, this is the makeup look that I've been pretty much going toward every day. Obviously, if I'm not talking and explaining everything that I'm doing, it goes by much, much faster. And I know how it's going to pretty much look every day and it goes really well with a lot of outfits as well so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video and while you're down there if you don't want to miss any new videos hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next one bye